we're going to begin by using this Dollar Tree cross and some jeans I got from the thrift store. I picked these because I really liked the color. It wasn't your average blue and denim color. And I also love the pockets. And I thought, hmm, I'm gonna cut these pockets out and I can use them for a different project in the future. I love how it had embroidery on it and it had really pretty sparkles. I don't know, I just really like the pockets. <laughs> So now after I do this, I'm gonna cut both pockets out. Now after I did that, I'm now just going to cut one of the legs of the jean shorts. I'm gonna call them jean shorts because it's kind of like a denim, but they're not blue denim. It's a really nice ivory khaki color and I just really like them and I like the way it tears, really nice. So now I'm just gonna cut that out doesn't matter it doesn't have to be perfect and beautiful so now I'm just going to lay my cross right on top and after I do that I am just going to cut where the arms come out and I'm going to wrap it right around the long part on the bottom of the cross so I add some of that hot glue right there to the bottom fold it over and now I'm just gonna cut. Like I said, it doesn't have to be pretty. You're gonna add more glue, and after you add your glue, now you're gonna add all onto the edges of your seam. Now you're just gonna fold that right over. And see how I'm just wrapping it? And then, Right when I'm done, I'm just gonna take that glue and where I want it to stay, that's where I place my glue. I'm gonna fold that over and now we're gonna tuck the edges of this side over. So it has a nice clean seam. See how it really doesn't matter how you cut it because you can always make it eye appealing. When you fold over and you're just going to put that glue and you're just going to put it right there on the seam. I love using this little, uh, I don't know what you call this. I got this at the Dollar Tree and I love these things. I believe they're like silicone makeup brushes, but I absolutely love them and they save your nails from the glue and it saves your fingers from burning. So, hey, those are win-wins, right? At least in my book. <laughs> So now I'm just going to do the same thing to the top of the cross that we did to the bottom. We are just going to get a smaller piece of the fabric, put some glue, fold it over, and we're going to wrap it right around the top. Now this one I did a little shorter. It came out a little small, but I'm going to show you how to fix that. But first, let me introduce you to some of my lovely friends joining me in this group, Creating Faith DIY. This video is part of Creating Faith DIY, hosted by Nadia, DIY with Nadia, and myself, Lini, at Crafty Lini. Please go check the description box out to see beautiful and wonderful creations, wonderful inspiration, from our lovely friends joining us today. I know you'll fall in love with every single one of them. And don't forget, tell them Miss Crafty Lini sent you. So now that we have all the sides glued, let's fix this. I'm just gonna take an extra piece of fabric and I'm just going to cut it to fit right there in the back on top where, you know, close that up so it looks really pretty. And we're just gonna put glue on the back, on all the sides, and then we're just going to cut the excess off right there along the arms. Now for the arms, we're gonna do the same thing like we did the top and the bottom. We're just gonna cut two squares off and then we're gonna lay it right across right on top of them and we're gonna wrap it 
the same way we did the other ones. I'm gonna go side to side first with the glue. I'm gonna put glue down. You could put it on the wires, put it on the fabric, just so you get a nice tight, where it's not gonna go anywhere, it's not gonna bubble. And then after I glue that end, I put some more and I fold over the other side right on top. So on the arms, on the end of the arms, I'm going to fold it like what you do when you do a present. You go in one side, in another side, and then I'm gonna fold it right over. And I'm gonna do that on the other side. Same thing, fold over, fold over. We want that center piece to stay just like that and you're not gonna see it because we're going to decorate the center. So fold over and fold over. And then we're gonna do again on the edge like a present. We're gonna bring in, bring in to a point just like you do a gift and we're gonna fold it over and glue. Easy as that. So now I'm gonna show you we're going to do some strips. This is the fun part for me. <laughs> so sometimes it's difficult if you're going against the way the fabric is woven and it's harder to pull. So if you pull it and you make the little snips on each end, then you can rip it and pull as much as you want and it's really easier to do it this way when you go with the way I hope I make sense with the way the material is woven. Don't go against it because then it's hard to pull it apart. But if you do it where it is going with it, it's so much easier and it just rips really nice. So now I'm took off all the little excess strings and things off our strips. And I'm gonna use now some of those pearl, it's like a pearl ribbon from Dollar Tree along with the burlap ribbon and all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna measure them all to what we our strips were and then with the pearls they're kind of thick so I thought hmm I'm gonna cut them and get more out of it so I just cut them in twos and then I put one little they have one little piece left and I put that aside I mean you never know I can use it for another project or you can use it with this one too So now after I cut them in half, I'm going to add them all together and we are going to make a cute shabby tail for our bow. You can use all of the different burlap ribbon or you can do like what I did and I just used one roll. So now after I put them all together, I pinched it in the middle and got a pipe cleaner, a Chanel pipe cleaner, and I just twisted it really tight right in the middle. And now I'm gonna push it right through those wires and twist tightly and put them right there. Love it. I did not cut my Chanel wires and I will show you why I don't cut them when I, why I didn't cut them when I did this. So now I got some of this ribbon from the Dollar Tree and I love it. It's a burlap ribbon with some pretty lace in the center. And I'm just gonna wrap it four times and then I put little snips on each end and then I pinch it really tight in the center. I get another Chanel pipe cleaner and now I'm just gonna wrap it around and then twist tightly so now I'm gonna bring it out and most of the time I do leave my tails on my ribbon but for this one I want it the shabby tail to show more so I am going to trim that tail down I'm gonna fluff my ribbon and you don't have to be perfect about fluffing it at this time because we're still gonna be playing with it as we add it to the cross and we're going to be gluing some things around it. So now we're going to put it right through that wire above the shabby tail. See? And we're going to twist it tightly. 
in a circle. And now look, we're going to pinch them all together and push it right there in the center of that cross. It goes right in there nicely. So now these flowers I did choose from the Dollar Tree. And they're so pretty. They're peonies. And oh my God, they are so pretty. I've been really happy with the way Dollar Tree has been bringing flowers and their greenery in. I think they're doing a wonderful job, huh? Stepping it up, guys. I love it. So I'm deciding to put this, it's kind of like a coral, uh, coral peachy color. And I thought it would look really pretty in there. But let me know what you think. Because I end up taking those out and putting them with white peonies there too. But let me know. Should I have left the, the coral pink ones? Hmm. Just curious. I don't know. When I put the pink ones, my eyes weren't smiling yet. So I had to remove them and replace them. And I will show you that at the end what they look like with the all white instead of with the coral but yeah my eyes were not smiling so I had to change it up when you craft and you do this part when you're adding your greenery and your flowers you always put it play with your play with it first and put it where you think you might want it look at it step away hold it up and if your eyes are smiling, and like I always say, your heart is singing, then that's where it stays. But if it's not, look, it does not hurt to remove what you just did and put something else there that you will enjoy. That's the beauty about making it yourself. You can change it if your heart desires to change it. Now this brooch I got from Totally Dazzled and they gifted me this and I absolutely love their product. It's beautiful and gorgeous. I will leave their website in my description box and I know you would absolutely love it. If you love bling, you will love Totally Dazzled. Beautiful, beautiful brooches and oh my goodness, so much beautiful bling. Love it. So I ended up putting that in the center. I removed, like you've seen, I removed the backing of the brooch and I glued it right in the center of that bow. So now I'm going to get this pearl ribbon and I'm just going to glue a little dab of glue right there on the bottom in the center of the cross on the bottom and I'm just going to wrap a little piece of that pearl ribbon to the bottom. If you don't want to use pearl ribbon, you can use Oh, you can use twine and just wrap some twine around the bottom and on the arms a few times a different ribbon you don't have to put any ribbon so many things you can use the ribbon that you used for the center with the burlap and the lace you could put on the bottoms also different looks I just chose to use the pearls but many many looks I'm telling you when you craft, make it till your eyes smile. I cannot say that enough because it's so true. So now I'm just getting a little bit of that burlap ribbon and I'm just gonna put, glue it on each side, press it down with my silicone brush with the hot glue and then I'm just gonna trim the excess off on there. And then I'm just gonna use this to hang my cross up. So beautiful. Oh, I love it. Gorgeous. I don't know, I just thought it was so soft looking and stunning. I don't know, to me, my heart was singing. I was so happy with this. I do change the flowers on the top and I will show you that. But like I said, please leave me a comment and let me know. Do you like it like this with no flowers on top, with the coral flowers on top? Or do you like it with the four white cream flowers on all four corners? 
Let me know which one you like. I really want to know. I think they look beautiful either way, but I'm just curious. Well, thank you all for watching. I so appreciate you visiting me today. If you're new, welcome. I hope you join my Crafty Lini World family. And if you're returning, mwah, hugs and kisses, welcome back. I do host a live show every Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern. I hope you come and say hi. And I upload a new video every week. Till next time, my loves. Be kind, be kind yourself and others. Stay blessed. Hugs, kisses, and fairy dust wishes. Start crafting and make it till your eyes smile.